This is a continuation from lesson three that we did on Friday. Um, if you re will remember, we wrote this on page eight. Um, some things that I'll remind you of. Um, this stands for distance equals rate times time. <clears throat> the area of a uh, rectangle is your length times your width. Technically, you could use that for a square too, but normally it's side squared. Um, your perimeter is equal to 2 times your length plus 2 times your width. Or you add your two, your length and your width together and multiply it by 2. Remember, money goes with money. Um, whatever's mentioned first equals what comes next. And then your switch words. Uh, less than, greater than, fewer than. Are fewer um, from remember your words would have been 5 less than X you switch those two words and then there's X minus 5 <clears throat> so that's all just a reminder from um, what we did on Friday uh, hopefully y'all had a good five-day weekend hopefully you stayed warm okay um, <clears throat> so here we have the area of a warehouse with the rectangle, uh, rectangular floor is 2,800 square yards. Find the perimeter of the warehouse floor. Uh, the perimeter of the warehouse floor is 220 yards, which systems of equations will determine the length L and the width W of the uh, warehouse floor. Okay, so hopefully y'all remember to pick up your highlighters. There's your first equation. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to have the same colors that you guys have, but that's okay. And there's your second equation. Oh, that kind of went a little wonky. Okay, so hopefully we just talked about you have your area is, link is equal to length times width. So let's take, take care of the blue first. So your area, it's telling you that your area is um, 2,800. So this one will be area times width, or length times width is equal to your area. And it's okay if you would have had the area over here. I just made it look like this over here where the 2,800s last. So if you look... That means this one's out. That one's out because of the number. This one could work. And that one could work. Okay, so now let's look at the two uh, remaining equations. Now, <clears throat> what we wrote in our book, let me go back to it real quick. Hopefully you're still on page 8. These are the two ways you can write your perimeter. So if you look, there's no parentheses on this one. So we're looking for 2L plus 2W, and that equals to the 220. So if you look, this has L plus W, and this has 2L plus 2W. So this is not the correct one, but this one is. So D is your right answer. <clears throat> That's number one. Number two, I'm just going to remind you that this is a stat question where you're creating two different, um, sorry, number five, you're creating two different um, tables. Okay, so let's look at number six. Number six says the sum of two numbers is 105 times the smaller number is 8 more than the larger number. Okay, so most of y'all, if y'all had to do this, would guess and then move on. But let's try to think about this. We're going to say X and Y, where X is our small number, and Y is our larger number. <clears throat> So, let me highlight. 
This comes from one equation. And then five times the smaller number is eight more than the large number. And that one's worded really funny, but it won't be hard, I promise. Okay, so let's sit, let's talk about the blue equation first. So you should know that sum means addition. So it's saying we're going to take the sum of two numbers. Well, our two numbers are the small number and the large number, and that equals 100. There's our first equation. That's it. Okay, so five times, now let's look at the orange number, or the orange um, sentence. Five times the smaller number is eight more than the larger number. Okay, <clears throat> so here we would say, remember that the word is means equals in this, in this case. Five times the smaller number, that's what's mentioned first. So five times literally means five. The smaller number is X in this case. And then eight more than. Remember that that more than, those, is, those are the switch words. So we're going to put plus eight last. And the reason why we're doing more is because in this case, the more means addition. And what it's, had it said less than, we would have subtracted eight. And the larger number is y. So in order to solve the y, we are going to move the x. So if we move this x over, this is y equals negative x plus 100. And here, instead of moving the x, we're going to move this 8. And when the 8 comes over, it's 5x minus 8 equals y. So now you'll see <clears throat> that they both say y equals, and this just happens to be y equals a little bit backwards. So I'm going to put this into y1 and this into y2. So if you'll remember from Tuesday of last week, um, we went to our calculators and ny equals, we typed in negative x plus 100 and 5x minus 8. Okay, we need a graph to make sure <clears throat> that we can t see the two lines intersect. Now, if yours does not and someone has reset your calculator, let me just make it to where just in case if someone reset your calculator this is what you're looking at okay that yellow circle tells you it's working I can't see the two lines intersect so I have to zoom out and then I have to press enter see that yellow line or that yellow circle that means it's graphing let it graph I still don't see it intersect okay there's that yellow circle I was talking about let it graph Okay, now you can see it intersect. <clears throat> so I'm going to go second trace. I'm looking for the intersection, so I'm going to press 5. And remember, we're going to press enter until we see that word intersection. 1, 2, 3. So the intersection is 18 and 82. <clears throat> so X is 18 y is 82. So now, if I add those two numbers, I get 100. If I multiplied this by 5 and added 8, would it give me the same number? Um, well, actually not. I would multiply that by 5 and add 8 to that. So here's what I'm telling you. If I did 8, 18 times 5, it gives me 90. And if I did 82 plus 8, it gives me 90. <clears throat> That's that part of the equation. Okay, so your answer would be the smaller number is 8. 
and the larger, oh, 18, sorry, and the larger number is 82.